Mumbai has been India's mecca of cricket. The culture for football has been lost for long. But now with the glitz and glamour of ISL, Mumbai is also taking the football plunge. But it's only a single stadium of repute, which is also not in a position to host the city's host games. There are problems galore. This is how Mumbai City FC is stacking up for the all-big ISL. Unlike Goa and North East, Mumbai's local talent is an amalgamation from various clubs around the country. Relying on experience by roping in India regulars like Syed Nabi, Deepak Mondal and India's number one goalie Suprata Pal. Mumbai City FC is looking to put the best Indian talent they can on the park. It was good because we played the first match after three weeks and after one week. It was good. It was good. Mix-up is being combined slowly and slowly. Mumbai has never been short of star value. And that's something Mumbai City FC has in abundance as well. With not one, but two marquee players in Nicholas Anelka and Freddie Lundberg. The star owner and Bollywood Hathrop Ranbir Kapoor, a die-hard Barcelona fan, now has his own club to cheer for. Anelka has been in top form in the pre-games, scoring goals and creating them. But with Anelka serving his Quenel celebration ban, and Lundberg nursing on injury, they could be missed in the initial games. But training with the team, the stars are doing all they can to lift the Indian fellow teammates. All of them hungry to learn. I can say that the supporters are coming and our fans are coming. So, Indian football will be very far. Because there will be 5-6 players who will play foreigners. So, the level will be very high for football. Freddie Lundberg has long shared the dressing room with his Arsenal teammate Robert Perez. But makes it clear it's time now to square up for the battle. Yeah, I mean uh, we are good friends. We sometimes drove to drove each other to to training. We live in the same area, so it's a great friend. And I said, as long as I not make him in the game uh, and we win the game, I'm happy. If Lundberg and Anelka will be up front, guarding the defense will be Germany's defender Manuel Friedrich. It's over to these men now to drag Mumbai football fans from the pubs and giant screens onto the turf supporting Mumbai City FC. With Rasesh Mandani in Mumbai, Sports Bureau, headlines today. That was in fact the Mumbai FC. Hello and welcome to another power-packed edition of Sports Today. I'm Sanjana Chauhan and from Mumbai we travel to Goa. FC Goa is perhaps the youngest team in the Indian Super League, but it looks as one of the most promising sides under the guidance of Coach Zico. Here's a look at the strengths and weaknesses of the team as it prepares for a high-voltage contest. <laughs> Goa, a land of sea, sand, beaches and football. And now also a football team that will go all out to not just stamp their authority in the inaugural Indian Super League but will also put their best foot forward to win it. Porta, Goa, Porta, Goa, Porta, Goa. Leading the charge will be one man, a legend, a superstar, a former footballing idol of the past. Now the guru, the master behind Goa. Brazil's Zico, the confidant, guide and coach of Goa. Yeah, I am very happy here in Goa and let's go to in Goa, FC Goa. Team Goa is made up of players from eight countries. But it's the local Portuguese that lend spice to their foray in the league. The cultural connect between Goa and Portugal is quite evident. A number of housing structures in Goa are still those which were once built by the Portuguese who ruled the state till as late as 1960. As many as three players from the Goa FC team are from Portugal. And unsurprisingly, all of them feel at home. The boys, uh, the boys are giving 100%. It's uh, FC Goa has one of the younger contingent of Indian players. That's obviously through the work we did at Dempo as well. And for the players, there will be a lot of superstars to look up to. Perhaps none bigger than Robert Paez, a World Cup and Euro Cup champion. Very big and a great opportunity for me to work with a great coach and great players like Pires. 
and uh, many more. The only place in India where you can say sun, sand and football is Goa. The football is played on the beaches, on the village streets, so also the paddy fields. Football here is the most popular sport. Yet all the action remains low profile. Perhaps it will all change with FC Goa. At least that's the promise. With Rashish Mandani in Goa, Bureau Report, Headlines Today. And as promised, we get you the third and final preview for the day. The team from God's own country, Kerala Blasters, will be a force to reckon with in the Indian Super League. The team has foreign heavyweights like Michael Chopra and David James in their lineup and will also have the backing of cricket legend Sajjan Tendulkar, who is the co owner of the team. The Indian Super League team comes from Kerala. They call themselves the Kerala Blasters and for good reason. Their co-owner was a blaster and will remain a legend in the sports he played. Sachin Tendulkar. Football mad Kerala has long been yearning for a club of repute they can call their own. ISL now provides them with the answer. Their superstar owner Sachin Tendulkar will always remain synonymous with the club. With the team name itself, Kerala Blasters, inspired from Sachin's nickname, Master Blaster. Team Kerala has its job cut out to play, compete and win the inaugural Indian Super League. And for that, the players will have to play as a team. The group together uh, have gelled brilliantly and uh, we really couldn't be sort of happier than the way things are going as regards the, the way the players have gotten. What sets Kerala Blaster as a class apart from the rest is in the quality that they have. Kerala Blasters is one of the few teams of ISL whose marquee signings come from England. In a dual responsibility will be manager come goalkeeper David James. If he can stay fit, he's still looking to prove to himself that he can be the best goalie of the tournament. Joining forces with him would be once Newcastle star of Indian origin, Michael Chopra, who almost played for India and is still fighting fit to fulfill.